Hi friends, welcome to Daemon Python series. In this video, we're going to talk about how to use IIS as a reverse proxy for a Flask web application. So if you don't know what Flask is or if you want to know how to build web applications with Python Flask library, I've already created a playlist for that and I will leave the link of that playlist in the description. All right, so what is IIS? IIS is a general purpose web server in Windows for hosting web applications and it's a production ready web server with great stability, security and many configuration options and it has also a very nice UI for configuring the web server. I mean, why use IIS as a reverse proxy? Generally, hosting Python web application as it is without a reverse proxy is not recommended and it's not done generally in practice. So generally, Flask application is hosted for the clients behind a reverse proxy like Nginx or IIS since IIS is a go-to hosting solution for Windows Server, we are using IIS to host Flask web server in Windows. One of the benefits of using IIS is basically you don't need to worry about the SSL in Flask application. You can just install the SSL in IIS and manage it there. So how are we going to use IIS as a reverse proxy? It's really simple. You just create a web application in IIS and configure it to act as a reverse proxy for the Flask application which is either running in a command prompt or running as a Windows background service. Generally, I prefer to run Flask server as a Windows background service because users may close the command prompt accidentally but Windows service will be running in the background, right? So if you don't know how to run a Flask server as a Windows background service, I've already created a video of that and I will leave the link of that video in the description so that you can check it out. All right, so this is how it's going to work. First, we have to create a web server in IIS and use it as a reverse proxy for serving the Flask application. So, how are you going to install IIS? So, IIS comes as a feature in Windows, so you just have to turn it on. So, let's see how can we do that. So, just search for features and then you will see turn Windows features on or off and click on that. And there you can see Internet Information Services. You just have to enable it and if you expand this, you can see there are some more options. You have to make sure that web management tools and worldwide web services are enabled. And you can see by default, only default and required options are enabled. You can enable options as per your convenience. But for our use case, the default enable things are okay. So you got to make sure IS management console is enabled and default options in the worldwide web services is enabled. That's all. And after you do the changes, click on OK. So now we have enabled IS in Windows. So to demonstrate IIS working as a reverse proxy for a Flask application, I just have to have an example Flask application running, right? So let's create an example Flask server so that we can serve it using IIS. So for this, I'm taking a blank folder and I'm creating a file called server.py and let's try to open it with VS Code. This is the server.py file and it's just a very simple Flask server. It just runs at localhost port 5000 and it has two routes. One is the index route, which is a home page and it will say hello world and if you say slash help it will give you this is the help page so it's a very simple flask server so one thing you have to notice here is basically i have submounted my flask application at a url called my app that means my app will be served at localhost 5000 slash my app so if you want to know more about submounting a flask application under a url something like this i've already created a video on that and i will leave the link of that video in the description so check that video out to know how to submount a flask application under a url prefix so my application will be running under this url prefix my app so let's try to run this app now so my python server is running so let's try to go to so let's try to go to the browser and visit localhost 5000 slash my app you can see hello world and if you write my app slash help you can see this is the help page so now we have our flask application set up for testing purposes so let's leave this flash server running we have already completed enabling is so now let us set up is as a reverse proxy so to enable is as a reverse proxy for serving python flask application you need to install two modules one is the url rewrite module and another is the arr module which is automatic request routing so these two are available at these two links. So let's try to download those. So let's go to this URL first. So this is the download link for URL rewrite module. So if I just click install this extension, you will get an exe file downloaded from Microsoft site. So you can see URL rewrite 2.exe is downloaded. And let's try to install ARR. So let's try to download ARR now. Application request routing module of IIS. So let's try to click install this extension. And you got ARR version 3. .exe. So just run these two exe files. Let's try to install URL rewrite 
first so let's click this and you will be shown this web platform installer and it will install the url rewrite module for you you can see it's already installed in my computer if it is not installed you will get the install button you have to just install it and the next thing is arr let's try to click this in the same way another web platform installer window will open and here you just have to click install all that we completed installing application request routing and the next step is enable proxy in arr module so first let's try to open iis now I'll just search IIS here and Internet Information Services Manager, IIS Manager is opened and here since I have installed the application request routing ARR module, I can see ARR here when I click the server name here. So I got ARR, I'll just double click this and in the right side server proxy settings, you have to enable the proxy. By default it will be disabled, just click enable the proxy and you just apply this, that's all. So we have enabled proxy in ARR module, the next step is url rewrite in is when you expand the server and expand the sites you can see default website so let's try to right click this and manage website browse this website you can see the default website is already hosted if default website is not already present in is create a default website this default website should listen to requests on http localhost all right my default website is set up but when i write localhost slash my app my python application should come so for that reason you have to set up the url rewrite module so what url rewrite does is that it will set up a rule such that if the request start with the url prefix my app the request will be redirect to our python flask application which is running at port 5000 so that rule has to be written now and that is possible using url rewrite module in the default website or the website which is listening at your desired port so let's try to double click the url rewrite and let's try to create a rule so for that you have to click add rules and create an inbound rule or an inbound blank rule double click that and now you have a form where you can create a rule so let's create a rule by name my app and match url should have matches the pattern which is a regular expression and the regular expression we are going to use is my app and we're going to say there can be a slash and we can even say that there can be text after the slash you don't need to memorize this regular expression just use your prefix here and just copy this thing and you have to tick ignore case because the url should be case sensitive so using this match url we are filtering the requests which are starting with my app so what should we do with that so in the action section you have to rewrite and the rewrite url will be http localhost colon 5000 because my app is listening on http localhost 5000 slash my app slash r2 this slash r2 will send the url after my app to the application so that application will know what is the url segment the user is going to trying to access and you can click stop processing of subsequent rules because this is enough if the url starts with my app and that's it we have successfully created an inbound rule and after this remember to click apply and now an inbound rule should be created just click on the default website again click on the url rewrite and you can see a rule in the list by the name my app and that is it now if you go to localhost my app it should be redirected to the flash server because here we already created the rule which says that the action url is localhost 1500 slash my app and all the rest of the url so let's try to visit localhost my app and click enter you can see hello world i can write localhost my app slash help obviously it was case sensitive in the flask application so i have to write slash help in small letters and you can see this is the help page so now successfully i have made my application hosted through is as a reverse proxy so is is facing the client request and flask is behind IIS so there are many advantages of using IIS as a reverse proxy instead of directly hosting the flask application so suppose if you want to add SSL to your website you can do that in IIS so just click on the default website click on edit bindings and add a binding and click HTTPS and you can select an SSL certificate which is installed in your computer and then click OK now my application should listen on HTTPS also so let's try to close this and let's try to visit the url https localhost you can see a warning because it's my development certificate i'll just accept the risk and continue and here you can see on https my application is using for request because i have configured https in is one more additional step i have mentioned here is add http x original host server variable so basically when you serve your flask application behind the reverse proxy the host header sent by the client will not be visible to the flask application because it will be modified by the reverse proxy 
So if my application wants to see what is there in the HTTP host header, it is not possible. So you can additionally add a new header called HTTP X original host and give the original host value and pass it to the Flask application. So let's try to do that now. So in the default website, double click on URL rewrite and click on view server variables and here add a new variable called HTTP X original host and click OK. So by this you are telling that this HTTP X original host is allowed as a header and go back to rules and here let's try to modify the URL rewrite rule just double click on this and here we can do one thing we can expand the server variables and add a server variable with the name HTTP X original host and give the value of HTTP underscore host and click OK. So what's happening is that the HTTP host value which is received from the client to the reverse proxy will be passed on to the Flask application by the name HTTP X original host. So this can be useful in some applications where your Flask application might need to know what is the HTTP host header sent by the client. So in case of very simple applications, this might not be needed, but I just covered this in case you want the HTTP host to be passed to the Flask application. So this step is optional and that's it. Now the Flask application which is hosted at localhost 5000 is being served by IS hosted at HTTP localhost even using SSL. This is how you can use IS as a reverse proxy to serve your Flask application to your clients. You can see I have created a blog post on using IS as a reverse proxy for Python Flask applications. I have also given you the notes and the source code so that you can practice in your own computer. I have also given you the references so that you can do further reading. Please feel free to provide your valuable feedback or ask any questions in the comments section. Hope you like this video guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.